आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास फोर टाइटल्ड मैथ मैजिक फोर पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी नाइन चैप्टर थर्टीन टाइटल्ड फील्ड एंड फेंसेज पार्ट टू पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी फाइव प्रैक्टिस टाइम वन A square has a boundary of twelve centimeter. A. From the corner of this square, a small square of side one centimeter is cut off. Will the boundary of B be less or more? Find its length. Here on page number one fifty five, there is a diagram given along with the question. This diagram has two parts. A and B. Part A diagram has a square box. Each side measures three centimeters. In the second part of the diagram, we have cut a small square side of one centimeter. B. If you cut a one centimeter square to get shape C, what will be the length of the boundary of C? Here on page number one fifty five again, there is a diagram given along with the question. This diagram is again divided into two parts, A and C. In the first part, there is a square box given. Each side is of three centimeter. In the second diagram, we have cut a small square of one centimeter to get C shape. What will be the length of the boundary of C? Two, a, find the length of the boundary of square D. B, eight squares of side one centimeter are cut out of the square D. Now it looks like shape E. What is the length of the boundary of shape E? There is a diagram given here on page number one hundred and fifty-five. This diagram has been divided into two parts. The first part is diagram D, which has a square box of five centimeters each. The first part is part D, having a square box in it. The sides of this square box measure five centimeters each. From diagram D, one centimeter boxes are cut from each of the sides. Now, the shape becomes. That of diagram E, you have to measure the length of the boundary of shape E. C, the boundary of this one centimeter cube is dash plus dash plus dash plus dash. Can we also say that the boundary is four into one centimeter? Page number one hundred and fifty-six. Three. A hockey field is ninety-one meters and forty centimeters long, and fifty-five meters wide. How long is the boundary of the field? Four. Usha and Valsamma are running a race. Usha is running on the inner circle. Valsamma is running on the outer circle. There is a diagram given here on page number one hundred and fifty-six. This diagram has a running track in it. Usha and Valsamma are running a race. There are also two tags which read start and end. On this racing track, the tags of starting point and ending point put at the same place. Valsamma runs faster than Usha, but still she loses the race. Can you guess why? Dash. There is another diagram given here on page number one hundred and fifty-six. In this diagram, there are three racing tracks given. In this diagram, for each of the runners, the starting point is different. The ending point for all the runners is the same. Have you observed any race where runners start from different places, like in this picture? Guess why? Page number one hundred and fifty-seven. School garden. The students of class third and fourth thought of making a vegetable garden. 
They chose a place which looked like this. The diagram of a vegetable garden has been given here on page number 157. The garden has two parts, a garden 1 and garden 2. There is a brown path which divides the two gardens. The students of both the classes are standing on one side of the garden each. Students of both the classes thought that garden 1 was bigger. So, both wanted to take garden 1. Suddenly, Neetu said, I think both gardens are equally big. Another student on hearing this replies, Quite possible. Let us find out if you are right. How will Neetu find out if the two gardens are equally big? Page number 158 Activity 1. Observe the table in your classroom. Guess how many math magic books you can place on it. Remember, The books should not overlap. Do not leave gaps between the books. Write your guess here. Dash. There is a diagram given here of a student on page number 158. This student is placing the math magic books on his school desktop. This student is placing the math magic books on a school desk. Now, check. If your guess was right, how many books could you place? Dash. What is the difference between your guess and the actual number of books? Dash. 2. Now, observe another table. A. Is this table bigger than the last table? Yes or no? B. Make a guess. How many math magic books can be kept on this table? Dash. C. Check if your guess was correct. How many math magic books could you keep? Dash. D. The difference between the sizes of the two tables is dash books. 3. A. How many math magic books can be covered with one sheet of newspaper? B. Try covering your math magic book with half a sheet of newspaper. C. Can you cover your book with a smaller sheet? Page number 159 D. Find the smallest sheet which can cover your book. Check if your friend used a smaller sheet than you did. 4. A. Which is the biggest leaf in this picture? There is a picture given here on page number 159. This picture is of a squared sheet. On the squared sheet, there are four different sizes of leaves drawn. These leaves have been drawn using a blue pen. You have to tell which is the biggest leaf in this picture. B. Collect some leaves from the garden. Place each of them here on this squared sheet. Trace out their edges and check. How many squares there are in each leaf? C. Which is the biggest leaf? D. Which is the smallest leaf? Page number 160 5. A. How many small squares of size 1 cm are there in this big green square? There is a picture of a big green square given here. This square has been divided into small squares of size 1 cm. You have to tell how many small squares of size 1 cm are there in this big green square. B. Can you think of a faster way to know the total number of small squares without counting each? 6. Guess how many squares of 1 cm can fill this blue rectangle here on page number 160 there is a rectangular box given of blue color here inside this box there are small boxes given of 1 cm there is also a blank space given to tell how many squares of 1 cm can fill this blue rectangle write your guess here 
dash. Check your guess by filling it with small squares. 7. Observe the picture. Can you divide it into four equal pieces? Each piece should have the same number of squares. There is a diagram given here on page number 160. This diagram has small square boxes in it. You have to divide all these small boxes into four equal pieces. Page number 161 Puzzle A house and the well Raghavan has a piece of land. There are four houses on his land and in the middle there is a well. He wants to divide this land equally among his four children. Each should get one house and be able to use the well without entering the other's land. Can you help him divide the land? Give different colours to each one's share. There is a diagram given here on page number 161. This diagram has Raghavan's piece of land. On this piece of land, there are four houses and a well situated in the middle of the piece of land. Try this activity with three squares also. You were just listening to chapter number 13, titled Fields and Fences, part 2, ends here. Narrators, Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav. Sound recordists, Buddy Lang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production by Shanu Muksim and Jagbandhu Jana. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. This book was presented to you by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India.